This is the new Falcon Long Reach Outback Ute. For a brand new Ute, it's already been given quite a solid workout. All in the name of product development. All in the name of making this one of the toughest Utes you've ever seen. 19,000 kilometres around the Ford Proving Ground test cycle. Thousands of kilometres unladen and thousands more with a full load. Thousands of kilometres off-road, uphill, downdale and over all kinds of unusual surfaces. It's the product of Ford's ongoing consultations with vehicle operators in the rural and mining industries. The more Ford listened, the more Ford learned that in 1990s Australia, some Outback operators don't need a four-wheel drive vehicle as much as you might think. If they could get a two-wheel drive ute with extra ground clearance, more traction and greater durability, well, that would be very nice, thank you. So the Ford engineers did a very Australian kind of thing. They came up with an Australian answer to a uniquely Australian set of operating conditions. They developed the Falcon Longreach Outback Ute. If anyone was going to take the Ute into new territory, you'd expect it to be Ford. After all, Ford Australia invented the Ute 60 years ago. The Falcon Longreach Outback Ute is a two-wheel drive utility based on the enormously successful Falcon Longreach GLI. The Outback has a higher ground clearance, more traction, greater durability and a longer fuel range all the sought-after attributes for many Outback applications. By making the front bumper bar some 35mm shallower, the Outback Ute accommodates steeper approach angles. The black alloy bull bar combines strength with a durable powder-coated finish. 65 by 15 inch steel wheels are fitted with durable off-road tyres. And overall, the Outback has a ground clearance of 200mm. The vehicle is equipped with Ford's renowned 4-litre, 6-cylinder multi-point EFI engine. As you'll see later, almost 200 horsepower has never felt so good or performed so well in many outback driving conditions, even when towing. The engine is teamed with a 5-speed manual transmission or optional column shift automatic. To help keep the engine breathing clean, fresh air, Ford has fitted a cyclonic two-stage air filter with automatic dust extraction which is about as good as you can get. It means you should be able to stick to the normal service intervals. Now the air cleaner sits nice and high and dry to make it easier to forge shallow creeks and streams. The interior is comfortable and very well equipped. Ford knows how to take care of you. And there's a centre seat for a third occupant. Could this be the best ute ever built down under? Let's take a look down under, where we really get the message that this is one tough ute. There's a heavy duty sump guard, a transmission guard, plenty of underbody stone and mud shielding to help protect the heavy-duty gas-filled shock absorbers that have special mounting insulators to reduce noise and improve durability. The rear springs here are heavy-duty. Just about everything's heavy-duty in this ute. They're good for three quarters of a ton and being dual rate they'll give you a ride that we think is as good as a family wagon. The fuel tanks will take 126 litres of fuel which should give you, depending on driving conditions, a range of around 1,000 kilometres. The tanks are well protected from stones. The whole setup is quite ingenious really. Located amidships, so to speak, the second tank doesn't take up valuable load space and it shouldn't affect ride and handling. Here's another big story. The BTRE Hydrotrack Limited Slip Diff. The BTRE Coupling Limited Slip Diff is a cartridge type fluid coupling that smoothly and progressively increases torque transfer to the wheel with slower rotation. The more one wheel slips, the greater the useful tractive force on the opposite wheel. It's state of the art in diff technology and it significantly enhances vehicle stability, traction and cornering feel. So, the Outback Ute looks good on paper, it looks good in the flesh and it looks good on the proving ground. But what's it look like in the real world? Let's find out. Yeah, well, Strata Exploration is mainly a uh, mineral exploration company, uh, which involves uh, drilling for minerals in virtually any location, whether it be in remote areas such as this, or whether it be in um, the middle of a town or a city such as in Bendigo, and anywhere in between. Uh, we'll travel a lot in the uh, southern states and northern South Australia, which as you can well imagine, takes in just about any type of uh, location. Anything up to three or four thousand K a week when I'm um, travelling between jobs or if there's a problem on the job. Um, if there is a problem, I need to get there as quick as possible to uh, sort it out because downtime is lost money. Uh, the other 
there's a lot, I guess, on road and a lot of kilometres on this uh, sort of off-road terrain, which I must be able to get across to be able to get to the vehicle. The uh, Falcon Ute in these conditions has been pretty remarkable. Um, most of the time we're told it's uh, four-wheel drive country only. Um, I haven't actually uh, needed a four-wheel drive in the last 18 months and I've never yet been in a position where I can't get out of. And the Falcon Ute, uh, with uh, the diff that it's got in it, with the ground clearance that it has over sandy creeks, um, any bulldust areas, you can suit your speed and the power to adjust the conditions. On the road, we will uh, tow anything up to a legal limit, which I believe is about two and a half thousand kilograms, and um, anything up to uh, probably 750 kilograms on the back of the uh, ute, which gives you quite a heavy load. The fuel range in the ute is uh, extremely important, and the uh, fact that uh, the rig may be working anywhere up to um, four or five hundred kilometres uh, from a fuel spot. Um, if I'm going to get out there and back without carrying um, extra containers of fuel, then it's, it's very handy to be able to um, put in, I think it's around about 130 litres that will hold all told, which will give me a range under normal conditions of about 900 to 1,000 kilometres. One of the main advantages is I can drive for 10 hours and be uh, very comfortable and at the end of the trip still get out and operate uh, in my capacity. Uh, I'm not absolutely stuffed where I just need to go to bed. Uh, the four-wheel drives I used before, anything more than uh, a four or five kilometre, four or five hundred kilometre trip, you get out at the end of it and you just feel like collapsing. So it's uh, so um, restricted in room that uh, especially a bloke of my size and uh, height your knees are up underneath your chin in a conventional four-wheel drive. In fact, Falcon Ute's uh, unbelievable in comfort. Uh, since I've had uh, my Ute, it's done in the vicinity of 80,000 kilometres. Apart from uh, standard services and tyres, I haven't spent a cent on it. Let's go to a large cattle station in Outback Australia. Cameron Downs, home of David Brook, whose family have lived and raised cattle in the Birdsville area for over 80 years. David's grandfather, in fact, was one of the very first people to drive a car up the legendary Birdsville track. And what did he drive? A Ford. To be more precise, a Model T Ford. They didn't have four-wheel drive then, and according to David Brook, you still don't need four-wheel drive in a lot of situations today. The properties out here are big properties. There's lots of kilometres involved in going around boundaries and reaching the far-flung watering points. Uh, quite easy to go out in the morning and come back and have done three or four hundred kilometres uh, around boundaries and fence lines. We run cattle, it's a uh, genuine cattle property. Uh, we run about 6,000 head of cattle scattered over uh, four or five thousand square kilometres. Uh, there's a lot of country to cover and uh, we need a vehicle like this to do it. Well the conditions here are tough. Uh, we've got a lot of sand hills to get over, we've got a lot of stony country. Uh, the tracks are not well graded, but they're marked, but it does the job. Well, there's a lot of places we don't really need a four-wheel drive. Uh, we've got jobs to do like checking fence lines, uh, and uh, checking waters, bores, windmills and those sort of things where it's just a matter of running along, you know, along a station track and uh, around the facilities or fence lines and that's all we need to do to, uh, to do the job. We need something that's comfortable to drive, uh, which it is. Uh, we need uh, good endurance, it's got good, good sized fuel tanks and uh, there's no trouble there. The distances here are, are, are long and there are times when we have to go to the nearest uh, shopping centre which from here is Mount Isa which is 600 kilometres away so we need a vehicle like this that's also good on the open roads. Well it's got the uh, traditional solid feel of a Ford, it's uh, nice and roomy inside, take a couple of passengers anywhere, 
It's got a good powerful motor that uh, gets us through the uh, sandy conditions over sand hills. The tyres are good, good big tyres, uh, ideal. Yeah, the higher clearance on this vehicle makes it a better vehicle for our job. Carry a decent load, does the job well really. The Outback Ute joins the stable of great performing Falcon Longreach Utes and Van.